Hi everyone, I am Blue Mullet. I'm back again, this time with a classic of mine. This is my little semi-automatic pistol that I made many, many years ago. This little guy was one that I actually planned to not really bring back on my new channel, just because I know that other people have posted instructions for it and have made videos of it. I didn't really find it too necessary. Um, that's actually kind of why I built the stem gun, but you know, people still asked me to bring it back, and so I decided to just go ahead and bring it back. Not everybody has the amount of pieces needed to build one of my big replica guns, and that is the big reason why I decided to bring this guy back. And just a heads up, for the next few weeks, the next few videos, I should say, um, are going to be smaller pistols for those of you who don't have a lot of parts, like I mentioned before. Um, just like my replica guns, just fitting in with the theme of my channel. None of them are gonna use broken parts and they are gonna be updated um, from the previous uh, from the previous model, I guess. And as you can see up front here, this guy has a new loading mechanism and uh, I guess magazine. This little guy has the exact same handle, back strap, I guess you could call it. And also the trigger mechanism remains the same from the previous generation. What is new, of course, that I mentioned before, is the new magazine design. I'm calling this the typewriter design. The whole idea for this is just to reduce that friction off of the rod as it's progressing each round into the trigger mechanism. The previous gun had that yellow rod system and that was connected onto the pistol grip, I guess the main body of the gun, you could call it this little area, via a green connector and it was connected into the actual slot here. What that does is it puts a lot of friction on this rod, so you need to use a stronger rubber band to progress the bullet to this, into the trigger. And that's not good because the more friction you have pushing the rounds against the body of the gun will decrease your range. And on a pistol like this, which already has limited range, that is a big issue. This gun fixes that because it's no longer connected onto the body, it's slotted through. So there's literally no friction on these bullets, except for obviously the rubber band going through here. Um, it allows you to use a weaker rubber band and get more range out of your tiny little pistol. To load this gun, all that you need to do is take your thumb, pull back this red connector all the way to the end like this, and make sure at the same time you grab the blue spacers right here. And then just simply take your gray connectors and connect them onto the rod, like this. Once you get to the end, this is what it will look like. All 12 shots loaded up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Very nice magazine capacity. It's definitely a improved from the previous generation. Once you're all loaded up, simply just pull your trigger and the gun will begin to shoot. Jeez. It's a very fun gun, of course. Um, just like the Sten gun. It's got a great rate of fire and it's just, just a fun piece.
wow, that was fantastic. I mean, I'm used to putting days into just tearing apart one of my replicas and then putting it back together to make the instructions for it. Days. This took me 20 minutes and I am very pleased <laughs> that, um, yeah, it only took me 20 minutes. There's not really too much to go over with this. You know, I mean, the trigger's one piece. Um, the only thing I have to tell you is due to this new mechanism, go light on the rubber band for here. This is a size number 19 and how I've put it on is I put it on here, obviously, just like the instructions. And when I feed it through here and out the front, I'll actually grab it and I'll pull it way out and then I'll wrap it around to this side right there. Um, that way I know that I'm minimizing the amount of pressure that that rubber band is putting on my bullets. But um, yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for building. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. I have more coming, like I told you before. And so yeah, let's just go ahead and see if this gun works. It's obviously going to work. <laughs> oh, now I got stuff all over my table. But anyways, once again, thank you all for watching. Thank you so much for building. I hope you enjoy this and I'll see you in the next video. It should be out pretty soon. Peace out.